approach the throne of grace to begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning to you all. I welcome you to this Mass, my brothers and sisters. On this day, we continue to pray for each and every one of our parishioners for their well being. And that our lengthened observances may find favors before God, who strengthens us, hears us, and restores our joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are sinners in need of God's grace. Let us therefore take a moment to recall the times we have failed God and man, to be sorry for those times, and humbly ask God for his pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies by the healing of our soul, for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rests with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our king our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are a shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery towards you. O Lord, we are shamefaced, like our kings, our princes, and our fathers, for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your commands, O Lord our God. To live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Responsorial Psalm, Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember, not against us, but in quitties of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoner's sigh come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. 
through all generations, we will declare your praise. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, just as your heavenly Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in turn be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be forgiven. Amen. <coughs> Good morning to you all. Today Jesus talked about forgiveness. But then in the first reading, it is the same thing about forgiveness. But then forgiveness has a criteria. Do you understand? There are some qualities before forgiveness could be imparted. And that was what Daniel did today and instructed the people of Israel. But then above all, he brought everything to the Lord. Lord, we have sinned. Acknowledgement of guilt is the first step towards what? Receiving forgiveness. But then when you do not acknowledge your guilt, you do not acknowledge your fault, where will your forgiveness come from? But then, then that means there is no need for forgiveness. That's why I know sometimes people say, well, I don't say, I don't commit sin. You are making God a liar. You do not commit sin. Then you are not a human being. But then it, it, it obviously goes to show that you are not a reflective human being. We are to reflect and look into ourselves and see the many times we sin against God. And as many times as we sin against God, we are to bring ourselves back to the Lord. Showing that pain of heart, the metanoia, the sorry for sins. Showing that we are bitter in our hearts, that we have strayed and we want to come back to God. Bringing ourselves before God, our emptiness. Bringing our death before God, that he may do what? He may wipe it away. Because it is, it is in his power to do that, and nothing more. And that was why Daniel today brought the people of Israel, and he mentioned it, Israel, Jerusalem, Judah, all Israelites, we have sinned against you. And because of that, you scattered us among many nations. And all the places you have scattered us with your mercy, bring us back. Though we have sinned there, how often do we come to God asking for forgiveness? How often do we, sometimes people go to God rationalizing how right we are. If Daniel had gone to God, God, you know, it is because of this, we did this, because of this, we, you know, it is not our fault. It is these people's fault. These nations around us, they, they, they introduced these gods, or they led us astray. There wouldn't have been forgiveness. But God forgave because he began from and with himself. Lord, we have sinned. And in your mercy, we bring ourselves to you, asking that you look up, you look with pity upon us and grant us what? Forgiveness. And today, God Jesus repeats the same thing he said to his disciples today. Why do you carry sorrow in your heart? Forgive, so that you may be forgiven. 
Do not judge or do not condemn. How often do we ourselves, as human persons, condemn us, condemn others? Most often we don't condemn ourselves because we don't want to feel bad. But you know, it's always sweet and wonderful when you condemn another person, when you sit on the judgment seat and you pass judgment on others. Remember, as you pass judgment on other people, some others stand apart and pass the same judgment on you. But God is asking us to leave those judgments for him, to look for a better way of life, to always aspire to be great, to be great in the sight of God, to be great in doing what is right. Are you ready to struggle? Remember, the measure you give out is the same measure you will receive. If you use a small cup for tea, do not go to somebody and ask him for a job in his own house to drink tea. While in your own house, you use the small cup. Wherever you go to, use that small cup. Use that, it's the same judgment. Let us not become hypocrites that will set up two standards. This is the standard for others. This is the standard for myself. Or this is the standard for this person. And this is the standard for the other person. No. Sometimes we find it very difficult to give. And we count the cost. Sometimes we look at a whole lot of things. This is why this, this is why this, or this should be this, this should be that. No. God is asking us to give generously. That whatever we give, we will get tenfold of what we give. A good measure. Overflowing. If that is the case, then let us be generous within ourselves, knowing that there is a reward for every good action, for every generosity. It might be through money, it might be through time, it might be through kind words, it might be through encouragement. There are so many ways to be generous to others. Are we reaching out? This is the time, my brothers and sisters, for us to step out of our comfort zone. Leave that comfort, come outside, experience what pain looks like. Experience what discomfort looks like, so that you will be better placed to understand what the other person is feeling. If you always have a comfortable shoe, when somebody says, oh, my, my leg hurts, these shoes are pinching me, they are so tight, you won't feel it. You won't even understand. What does it look like? But when you have the same feeling, then when somebody says it hurts, you'll understand really that it does hurt. We pray, my brothers and sisters, that we may open up our hearts to receive forgiveness from God, to forgive others too, to liberate ourselves and have that joy, that freedom which comes from God that stifles our, ourselves and our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May we rise and enjoy, bring our needs to our loving Father, that he may hear us and come to our aid. Francis, for our Archbishop and the priests and the deacons of our Archdiocese, may they devote themselves reservedly and successfully for the renewal of the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil authorities throughout the world, may they all work for peace and joy, justice and consider the needs of all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the suffering, the needy, and the elderly, may they find peace and joy in God and sufficient material help for the friends and neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are depressed, may they experience the care of the Christian community and the courage to find God in their suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves. May we be given the grace of reconciliation during this Lenten season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community, may our Lenten fasting and self-denial show concern for the poor and destitute, giving to the needy what we deny to ourselves. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially for Jeannie Breslin, and all who believed in the mercy of God, 
now experience that mercy forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our Father, in your mercy, come to our aid. Listen favorably to our needs, O oh Lord, to our prayers, and grant what we ask you in faith, spoken and unspoken, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless thy the Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to come, which has been given and given hands of faith. May become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. May become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and a contrite heart. May the Lord wash over our iniquities and cleanse you from all your sins. <coughs> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and the glory of your name. Father, you are all the Lord's church. Amen. Accept in, your, accept in your goodness these are prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Yes, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the sun of the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit of wonder like the dew fall, so that it will become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was, was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Archbishop, Charles, his auxiliary, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints, St. Paul, St. Patrick, St. Peter, St. Augustine, St. Ephraim, St. Jude, St. St. Lawrence, St. Timothy, St. Titus, St. Bartholomew, St. Elizabeth, St. Veronica, St. Cecilia, St. Andy Bopre, St. Josephine Paquita, St. Monica, St. Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We join our hearts. Let us go to our Father in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Look not upon our sins, O Lord, but upon, but look upon, the, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign, forever and ever. Amen. May the joy and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. May we offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. My brothers and sisters, behold him, the love of the Father, who has asked, he asked us to approach him, and he will grant us forgiveness. He is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those of us called to this supper of the Lamb. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring us to eternal life.
merciful as your Father is merciful, says the Lord. Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, place us of wrongdoing and make us heirs to the joy of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to peace and love of Christ, for this Mass is ended. Amen. You have a blessed day and a wonderful week. Thank you.